Hello friends, welcome to WebScript.info. My name is Rizwan Khan and we are going to continue our web messenger project and in this video we are going to set up our authentication and UI of our application and also we are going to install a couple of libraries which are required for our project. So let's get back to our project folder and this is our project folder web messenger go inside and I'm going to simply open this uh, in my git bash or you can open it in your command prompt or you can simply open it this project in any kind of text editor of your favorite so git bash here and let me make a let me do some zooming so you can see it better so i have a couple of uh, folders because of react js and uh, let me uh, open this project in my vs code and here we have our project folder so that's what we have and we have also installed a firebase in the last video firebase version is 7.15 okay now that's all and i'm also going to install a couple of libraries uh, for our authentication and uh, state management so now we are going to, going to install a couple of libraries which are required for our project so redux and uh, react hyphen redux and i have already discussed a lot of things about these in my previous react.js projects and videos so if you want to know more in detail you can watch those videos so other library is uh, redux hyphen tongue and also we need a uh, redux react redux redux tongue three libraries right now and what else we need uh yeah if that is enough right now if required more then we'll install it and also we are going to save it as a dependency not as a dev dependency right so let's install it so it is going to install uh, meanwhile i'm going to discuss with you uh, the architecture of our uh, applications so let's open paint So our main file in the whole react.js project is app.index.js and the first component will be app.js. So like let's say this is our root component that is app.js and app.js. So this is our root component. Uh, what we are going to have, uh, this is a very uh, a small project in terms of uh, the pages and libraries so we don't we are not going to have a lot of components right we are going to have only the mandatory uh, required page because we are going to implement a messenger right we are not going to create a social network site or e-commerce website so the requirements of ui is very uh, less okay so the thing is here we have we are going to have one uh, container level component or you can say the page level component so one we are going to have for the login component another one we are going to have sign up component and also we are going to have one more component that is the main application component so like home component or you can say like that so home component here we are going to see the list of users and the messenger area like uh, we are going to communicate with other people so everything all about and also the controls like logging log out from the application and all right so that's a home component so this is all we need right now like say uh, i'm not very good at painting things so this is going to connect with this and then this and then this so this is all we are going to have okay now also we are going to create a one higher order component let's say we are going to have component layout so this is the layout component layout so this is our layout component we are simply going to pass our uh, this uh, page level component like login sign up home uh, with this layout component right like this so we will give as an input to the uh, login component to the layout and it will give some 
brand new component like uh, uh, let's say we are going to have component uh, let's say we have given a login page right uh, we have only a login form in this uh, login component login page component but when we are going to pass login component with the layout component we will also get a header with some information like uh, login and navigate to the register so basically i am talking about the header so we are going to have header as well in this component so whatever the component we are going to pass with the layout we will we'll get some uh, basic uh, uh, ui uh, with this uh, sign up and all like th that is we are going to show in all the pages Okay, you are getting my point right so i'm not writing it because it is really bad header then we'll get uh, the required pages like login so login will be uh, over here simply and then again we are going to pass sign up component like that okay and then we'll get uh, a new layout page with the header as well right and then we'll get get the output so this is uh, gonna work like that and uh, what else and uh, oh yeah we also need to protect the route let's say for example if a user is a locked in user then only we will show uh, show the home page home component otherwise he can see the login and sign up component so we are also going to create a protected route yeah kind of interesting sounds that you can use in all your uh, different pro projects uh, whether it is based on react uh, uh, fire store or not it doesn't matter so the concept i'm going to use for authentication that you can use everywhere uh, you can use for rest apis like uh, where you are going to get a token from the server that the same approach going we are going to follow here so here i'm going to write route component private route private route okay so we have to pass our component like uh, uh, login as well sorry i'm making things worse login so if we pass uh, no definitely not sorry my mistake so we are not going to pass login with the, our private route component because login is a page it's a public page anyone can see it Sign up is also a public page, anyone can see, but home is not the public page, only the logged in user can see it. So we are going to pass this home with a private route and it will decide based on like if he user is logged in, then he will allow to go navigate to the home page, otherwise it will prevent. Okay, so that's cool. So this is the, this this is what our UI is simple, right? And let me uh, yeah, our uh, installation of libraries is also completed. We'll start with the structure. You know the diagram, right? So just follow this diagram if you're interested. And let's go back to your code editor. So this is our source file and this is our app.js file. This is our index.js file. So first thing I'm going to set up the fire firebase. Okay, so for that we need to go to the firebase website. And uh, luckily I haven't opened my Chrome yet and i chrome okay firebase and this is not the user right so i have to logging again oh, okay add one sorry what is it manage sign out sign in okay cool so we are logged in successfully and let's click on this get started button it's a white button and it will navigate you to the dashboard page right not dashboard page project page so here we have our project we have cre created in our first video web messenger and here is our app react js messenger as you can see and this is the authentication we have already created the authentication table as well as we have created the database uh, for uh, storing information right so what i'm going to do uh, just click on this gear icon and you can see the project setting and again scroll and you can see like integrations 
so okay scroll down and okay which one yeah so here you can see the firebase sdk snippet so that is not important we have already installed firebase so we don't need to use cdn and or anything else so we are simply going to copy this right copy So this is our root file. This is our entry point of the whole application index.js where we are uh, getting our main component app. We are passing the app component with our render function. So we are able to see all the components in our browser. So here I'm going simply going to add my config file, right? So here is the Firebase config and instead of var, let's use ES6 syntax const. So this is our Firebase config. We have already installed Firebase. So I'm going to import Firebase from Firebase. Okay, and then we are going to say Firebase dot initialize app, and we are going to pass our Firebase config object. Okay, that's all. That's it. So we are ready with our. We are initialized our uh, Firebase with our react.js project okay and back to your src folder app.js and here we are going to create some files like first i'm going to create a folder let's say containers or you can also use a name like pages then i'm going to create another folder like a home component home page or something like that okay and this home uh, i'm going to have index.js and a similar related style for, for the home page style.css again I'm gonna create a folder uh, for the login login page and the same thing uh, index that's the entry point for the login page and style sheet also style.css and one more that is register page so register or sign up whatever you want page okay create the index file index.js and again style sheet okay now we are done with our container containers folder now again we are going to create a component folder right for our reusable UI components so components and that's all okay and uh, index.js app.js right so let me remove all the things from app.js this is the default uh, from the beginning it is available over here so let me remove this this is given by react.js itself this that's it okay so we have already uh, installed our uh, uh, okay yeah i forget to install uh, one library react router obviously we want page feature right so we need to install also the react router so react router dom i'm installing it let it be installed and also we need some higher component uh, layout component Okay, so let me create the layout folder layout and then again uh, related style of layout index.js and then again we are going to have one more folder one more file uh, style.css okay and so let's start with the layout okay index.js so let's type rfc is the shortcut for creating uh, components functional component right and rfc i'm not getting anything it means uh, the react snippets plugin is not installed in my vs code so let's go back and here is the extensions click over this type react snippet react hyphen snippets and you'll get a lot of options the 
the one I'm looking for is this one react hyphen snippets okay this is 2.1.5 click and you can see it, it, is, it is from code review underscore Mustafa so let's install it and it is installed let's go back to your text editor remove this one RFC and you can see the lot of option RFC so react functional component RNFC react native functional component hit enter and this is our component so layout I'm gonna say that's cool save you a lot of time right so layout so let's save it and we'll say like uh, I'm, I'm going to create some header first and then simply I, I will get all the components whatever the component I'm gonna pass over here say yes children prop structure save okay and that's all uh, okay and my uh, library react router is also installed now go to your app.js file and here I'm going to say I'm going to uh, import library so import and we'll say from uh, react hyphen router dom and I'm going to use a browser router for navigation as a page label navigation browser router as router I'm renaming it because for simplicity then I'm also a uh, route this is the second one right now go here and type uh, router say here router close this the second one will be route and okay so it requires two property path the forward slash and we are going to install uh, we are going to show the home component based on the part so component equals to a home component so I haven't created a home component so let's go back to your uh, containers and index.js page and type here RFC and we'll get the home page okay save now again uh, go to your login page and RFC you're going to get login page save now again register RFC same and register page save okay now back to your uh, main app.js file route forward slash if it is forward slash then we'll simply load the home component home page and then next we are going to say our ut route and path will be uh, let's say login the component will be login page and the third last one is the register or sign up looks better right sign up and here we'll say the uh, register page or sign up page you can create any name doesn't matter okay let's save it so we have our uh, all component page level components right now go to your uh, browser and uh, let's uh, run our app first npm start and it is going to start it will take a little a uh, couple of seconds to start okay meanwhile let's go back so as you can see this is my home page and this is the first forward slash right then login and you can see I have home page as well as login page right so it is happening and you want to know all of these things you can simply uh, uh, watch my other uh, tutorials right so right now I can correct it by using simply a keyword uh, exact okay so if I will give exact here it will uh, load when forward slash only in case of forward slash alone home page and in rest of the condition if things get matched then only it will load the login page okay so you can see here sign up I just register then do login and there is login page only and that's home page okay so our component is working well now uh, we are our, our layout right so yep so I'm going to get my uh, little bit of CSS code and all 
so